Hey guys, it's Yuri Han here, and I'll be talking about kleptoplasty, an unusual symbiotic phenomenon. Take a look at this pretty scene. These are plants. Plants are autotrophs, and autotrophs survive on the food they make themselves. Plants make their own food through photosynthesis, which is a process of converting light energy from the sun to chemical energy. We humans are heterotrophs, and so are other animals. As heterotrophs, we all get the energy we need from the food we eat. Now, with all this said, if I told you a whole life could be lived with just one meal, would you believe me? Believe it or not, the answer is yes, it could, through kleptoplasty. Kleptoplasty, or kleptoplastity, is an extremely fascinating phenomenon where plastids are sequestered by other organisms. Plastids are organelles found in many types of cells, and chloroplasts are major plastids that produce food for the cells of plants and algae. So, simply put, Kleptoplasty is a symbiotic relationship, which is a special interaction between two different species. And here, we're talking about a special interaction between plastids from algae and other organisms. The algae is first eaten by another organism, and you would think they are digested, but in this case, they are only partially digested. This partial digestion leaves the plastids intact. The plastids are then well kept within the organism and temporarily retains photosynthesis functional photosynthesis for its host to use. Now let's take a look closer at some sea slugs, and yes, this is a sea slug. But first, let me tell you just a little bit of info about these slugs. These slugs are sacoglossin, which means sap sucking, and these slugs literally suck the contents out of the algae they eat. These slugs are also called the solar-powered sea slugs, because they get their energy from the sun like a solar panel. The longest known kleptoplastic association is, in fact, between the Sacoglossin sea slug, Elysia chlorotica, and the algae, Vacheria littoria, the slug's favorite food. Their kleptoplastic association can last up to 10 months, sometimes up to a year. This means the slug can live solely off the sun all year round. Here's an Elysia chlorotica sea slug. It feeds on the algae first by puncturing the algae with its radula which is just a fancy word for the slug's feeding organ, and firmly holds the algae in its mouth. And like we would with a straw, the slug sucks the contents out from this algal strand like a delicious green smoothie. Then, the slug uses lyse cells, which are cells that break down cell membranes, to expose the chloroplasts from the algal cells. Remember, the slug keeps only the algal chloroplasts instead of digesting the entire content of the algal cell. With this said, the chloroplast passes through the gut of the slug, which is another fancy word for the tube that brings food to the digestive organ. During this process, the slug makes sure that the plastids aren't damaged. Then, phagocytosis takes place. Phagocytosis is the process in which a cell engulfs a solid particle. Here, the cells of the sea slug engulf the algal cells and make the chloroplast part of their own cellular content. This incorporation allows the cells of the sea slugs to use the chloroplasts to capture energy directly from light through photosynthesis, exactly like plants. You know, this kleptoplastic association reminds me of a certain little phrase, you are what you eat. Why? Well, come to think of it, kleptoplasty can be very well analogized to this saying because as seen with the slug, it is as if the sea slug almost becomes a plant as it eats one. It eats an autotroph and becomes an autotroph. I mean, the slug even looks like a plant. Its green color, broad leaf-like body, and leafy gut and veins almost disguises the slug to appear as if it were a fallen leaf in water. So here's a simple way I use to remember what kleptoplasty is all about in a nutshell. If you are what you eat, it's kleptoplasty. It even rhymes. So before I leave, I know you guys are wondering, would kleptoplasty ever work for humans? But personally, I think we like our food too much. Thanks for watching. This has been Yuri Han with Kleptoplasty.